Hey everyone, welcome to Ecocalypse. So we have here a new banner, Decrypting Incantations, Construct and Timeline. We have Wadget and Pan Pan for this banner. And I'm um, going to give you guys my thoughts on whether this banner is worth pulling or just skip it all together. Okay, so first and foremost, um, let's go over Wadget and see what she can do. Wadget is rated as tier B, um, bordering on tier A, but again, her utility is not enough for me, I think, to put her to tier A, but definitely he she has some uses. So going to her attack, so launch an attack dealing 53% physical damage to back row enemies. Take note, the back row enemies are the squishy ones that usually a player hides or an opponent hides. So definitely she is going to be very good for um, your primary attacker for the back line because this is going to be um, a basic attack. Okay, take note of that. Next is going to be her special. So Wadget breaks her limits, her god's eye, sending a chill down enemy spines. Dealing 173 physical damage to the back row again. So basic and back row is her specialty with an attack. With an N times 20% chance to turn each target with more than 3 rage into mummies. So if they are... Rage is basically... It basically makes a case fast. So... If they have three rage, there is a 20% chance that we, they would be turned into mummies and they would be incapacitated. So retains all mummy retains all attributes. Its normal normal attack is replaced by dry claws, which can deal 10% damage to a single enemy. So I'm not really incapacitated. I'm gonna gonna correct myself. So lesser damage. Its skill is replaced by sand burial, which can deal 20% damage to front row enemies. So again. Uh, she makes the mummies and their attack is lowered basic attack plus their um their special skill so that is what she gives and the last skill is going to be wadgets gaze confuses enemies when wadgets hp falls down below 30 percent her normal attacks and skills have an end 10 percent chance to inflict silence for targets on on targets for one round so targets meaning all but the chance is low at 30 percent no not 30 percent 10 percent okay so but as you get copies over of course this percentage is going to go up but it's not that much so from 10 only the maximum would be 20. so what do i think again over her obviously she has a nice artwork um, if you if you you know want this waifu for her looks, then go for it. But my opinion is that she is going to be again tier B. No more, no no nothing more than tier B. So moving next to Pan Pan, of course, when you draw on this banner, you have to consider that you might draw Wadget or Pan Pan. So if Wadget is tier B, what? is pan pan so starting off with pan pan's attack so pan pan fires an improvised cannon dealing 70 percent 73 percent damage to a single row of enemies so two single row and you actually get her for her special skill so uh, makes a one-time defense on item based on the situation grants shield of her of her 12% max HP. So the trick for her is to increase her HP. And when a shield is activated, crit resistance increases by 10% to herself and to two random allies. Um, this is nice. The, my problem with this is it's just random. But again, it's a defensive trait. And um, actually, I'd take this. Um, I would say she would be tier A at this point. Um not no longer tier s she was she was very um she was very sought after before i think she was nerfed so this becomes two random allies and 12 percent max hp when a shield is activated so again hope i was hoping that this would be three it's only two or even four three or four would have been better than two random allies but 
again if you like her you actually can pull for her she's for me she's going to be tier a and no more than tier a i think she was nerfed before um her you know before i think her skill was was even better so this one this is her passive pan pan develops a defense strategy based on the situation where her single damage exceeds 30 percent of her max hp she grants front row allies block percentage for two rounds when her single damage ex mm, okay so the the block plus 10 percent for two rounds is actually good for front line but it um, the condition is when her single damage exceeds 30% of her max HP. So you also have to increase her damage for this to take effect. So what do I think of them both? Are they going to be good? So let's go back. Okay, first you have to check the link here. Will they benefit you in the long run based on the team that you're building? So they are... I think based on the same link, if you can look at this one, almost the same. So both of them can be used in one team. Uh, if you're developing the same team as them with the same links, more or less, then definitely you should get or you should try this banner out. If you're starting out, uh, Pan Pan, I don't think it will be a good starting you know, SSR for you. Probably a more DPS centered centered uh, case would be would, would do with SSR case. But for them, both of them are supports mainly. And uh, they would complement you if again you are building a team currently um, showcasing them. Or if you want to if if that team if if you add these two to that team that team would be good through the link then be my guest i don't know if you understand uh, understood that but again if these two will complement your current team through links and through the build then be my guest both are wajet again is, is tier b pan pan is going to be tier a but again their their support they're actually going to be good at that tier, especially for Pan Pan at tier A. So again, guys, those are my thoughts. So uh, depends upon you if you're going to uh, summon for this banner. But at this point, I'm looking for a specific one that uh, I'm still waiting. So I'm saving my summons for that particular case. And you guys will definitely know about it once that case is going to be up for summon. So... Anyway, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.